we know how immensely difficult these last 15 months have been for so many of our neighbors and friends. Congresswoman Susie Lee and District F Commissioner Justin Jones led a multi-jurisdictional panel discussion with local, state, and federal leaders outlining the efforts made by all levels of government to assist renters from being evicted due to the pandemic and COVID-19. The day before Thanksgiving last year, I got a frantic call uh, from uh, from some folks in the community who learned that there were several families that were going to get kicked out uh, of an apartment complex that were going to be evicted on the eve of Thanksgiving. And working with my staff, my amazing staff, I got in touch with our social services team, got in touch with uh, Barbara Buckley over at Legal Aid and contacted the governor's office. And working collectively, we're able to help those families. And it wouldn't have happened but for the CARES Act funding that our uh, representatives like Congresswoman Lee and the entire team were able to secure for us. The Congresswoman touted the federal government's quick action in creating emergency funds available to struggling tenants. And I was proud to work with my colleagues in Congress um, and strongly supported the CARES Act as well last year as well as the American Rescue Plan at the beginning of this year. And throughout the COVID-19 pandemic and with the passage of these various relief packages, I've championed emergency rental assistance funding as well as mortgage assistance dollars to help Nevada families maintain shelter and uh, have adequate housing for their families. Many locals are still unemployed due to the shutdown and COVID-19 crisis. The state's eviction moratorium expired last month, and the federal one ends on June 30th, so thousands of Nevadans could be faced with the grim reality of being forced from their homes. I think everybody knows that we are facing an eviction crisis. Uh, the estimates are that evictions, people facing eviction, households facing eviction could be in excess of 100,000 to 140,000 households in Nevada facing eviction. That's a lot of people. People are desperate. We are getting panic calls every day. And so what we are really trying to do is get information out to tenants. Because right now the worst thing a tenant can do is nothing. If a tenant takes no action, they will probably get evicted. Clark County has created the CARES Housing Assistance Program, or CHAP, to aid local renters who have suffered financial hardship and lack income to pay their rent. CHAP clarkcountynv.gov. That is the single website address that you need to go to. You can do it from any internet connected device. Our team has been able to put $110 million of rental and utility assistance into the hands of uh, clients, tenants, and landlords in this community since we stood this program up. When it comes to uh, what the county is doing with their ARP funds, we're still on the planning processes, but obviously focusing on those who are most directly affected by this a uh, pandemic uh, crisis are at the top of the list and the most uh, in need and the most uh, likely to get funds as quick as possible. The state legislature passed Assembly Bill 486, which ensures federal rental assistance will be distributed to needy tenants and landlords. The money will go directly to the landlord. What's really important about this bill is that once a person applies for that, it gives a 30-day stay that the courts are able to give where you cannot be evicted because we know it takes time to process those applications. And so there's also um, parameters in the structure in the bill that what happens if a landlord does try to evict you once you've applied. Elected officials and housing experts have held many events like this one and will continue outreach efforts to assist Clark County renters stay housed. The Legal Aid Center of Southern Nevada hosts many clinics like this one. To learn more, give them a call at 702-386-1070 or go online to lacsn.org.